Hi, this is Paul again. I'm gonna call this video No Chaos 3. In my last two videos, No Chaos 1 and No Chaos 2, I showed how important the golden ratio rectangles can be. Well, maybe only I think they're important. Anyway, let's take a look at them. The rectangle in front is a size 6 golden ratio rectangle. I'm calling it size 6 because I'm working with the edge of a size 6 cube which is 600. Now you can see the math calculations that I show in front all coming from phi, the golden ratio. But it's plain to see that the cube edge could be any length, small or big, whatever you want. Now I'm going to put a size 1 icosa, icosita and put it in the center. And now I'm going to add the size 6 dodeca outline. And I'm going to show you the 1020 color vector system also. So now you can see that the diagonals of the golden ratio rectangle line up perfectly to the vertices and center faces of the icosita. Isn't that something? I could have changed the diagonal colors to the same as the vectors. But if you look, the icosita faces will give you the colors, so there's no need. Now I'm going to add another golden ratio rectangle. This one will be a cyan rectangle. And take a look at this. You can see that the diagonals of this second rectangle is also lining up perfectly with the faces of the icosita and the vertices of the size 6 dodeca. Okay, let's just go back to the dodecan and the icosita in the center again. And now I'll just bring in the Yucatan, the golden ratio Yucatan on top and bottom. Now the longer length we know is 600, the edge of the cube. And the shorter length is the edge of the dodeca or the edge of the golden ratio rectangle. Now I'm going to bring back the rectangles, the yellow and the cyan. Now I'm also bringing in a third golden ratio rectangle. This is the 369 rectangle, very important. And I think I'll better show you the color vectors as well in this. Okay, look what happens when I rotate the three rectangles in a group at 120 degree steps. Now you can see that the three rectangle group lines up perfectly with all the vertices of the dodeca in the 120 degree steps. You can see that the orange rectangle rotates 120 degrees. But the yellow and cyan rectangles are sloping and they are sloping in a golden ratio. Now this will be essential for giving us the A, D and A rungs. I'll show you this later. And this is another example of the dodeca being a 3D processor. Now I'm going to show you the same anim, but I'm going to hide the dodeca and show you some numbers. We'll start with the red and yellow vector, which is our rotational axis. And this will be our zero. And the next position will be the cyan and purple vector, which will be number three. Let's make the red and cyan vertice one and the yellow and cyan two. So now we'll rotate 120 degrees to the next position. And that's going to give us 4, 5, 6. So now we'll rotate it again to our third position, 120 degrees. And that's going to give us 7, 8, 9. So if we give it another 120 degrees, we are back where we started. And we are back to 0, 1, 2, 3 again. And Tesla said if you only knew about 369. And I don't think he mentioned anything about chaos. Okay, now I'm going to show you how we can make a bend. And I'll start this by showing you the direction of the bend with an arrow. Now first we'll make a 41.81 degrees turn on the axis of the 369 rectangle, the orange one. Now the 369 rectangle needs to be rotated in another axis. So I'll show this axis with a yellow arrow. The 369 rectangle has got to be rotated 60 degrees 
to the nearest vector which is the red and green vector so now we have a new zero axis and the group of three rectangles can rotate at 120 degrees again around the new axis now this bend could be repeated to all 20 vectors and each of the vectors have a choice of three three six nine I think it's plain to see that the Dodeca is a wonderful 3D processor. As I showed in my earlier videos, it will give us DNA. I have showed in my earlier videos that three-phase electricity comes out of cubic arrangements also, which is part of this Dodeca. So I think I'll call it a day now. So this is Paul saying thank you very much for looking at my video.